Generating interior perspective views. When we're generating an interior view, it's very much similar to an exterior view. However, we must keep our eye point and our target point with inside of the building. So we're going to go up to the view tab. We're going to go over to 3D views, hit the down arrow. We're going to go to camera. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to place a camera, say here in the breakfast area. Then I'm going to drag and I'm going to place the uh, the target point say here on the stove and I'll place them I'll pick it generates the view for me now typically what you have to do to get exactly what you want to see is grab these blue dots and you need to manipulate these blue dots uh, and drag them to, to the extent you want to see so I'll grab a hold of this blue dot I'll slide over a little bit and now I can get to see the sink. You can say, well that's pretty important to when I want to see say uh, a kitchen. I want to see a little bit more of that sink. So I'll drag it over here a little bit more and you know that's what I can see there and perhaps I don't want to see so much ceiling. I can drag that down a little bit and I can come over here and say I would like to see a little more of the floor though. All right, and so there we go. That's looking a little better. So now I got a nice uh, interior uh, perspective view. And uh, so I'm going to do that again. I'm going to go back to the first floor here. And uh, I'm going to say, all right, let's go and take a look in the living room here. And uh, so I'm going to go up to my view go to 3D view, I'll go to camera, I'll pick my camera right here and I'm going to drag it and I'll place it right here and it generates the view. I can then grab a hold of these drag controls, move things around a little bit so I can see things however I want. And I might want to grab a hold of this one and see a little bit more foreground here right? and maybe even a little less of a ceiling and you can see this space over here doesn't do much for me but I could let it go with something like that and uh, so generating those 3D views uh, is, is very easy we just have to keep that the eye and the target inside of the of the uh, and there I want the realistic and uh, we get a better idea of what it will look like so uh, generating interior perspective views um, basically we just need to be in our floor plan once again in our floor plan we go up to 3d section views camera and we make sure it's set the perspective we set our height and we keep our camera and our target within the building.